You know what? I like this movie better than Conan. And I live in Texas around surrounding a whole bunch of homophobes. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit hard to prove that I'm not gay. <sighs> Hello. Freedom Guy 55 here again. I had just seen One Day. It's with uh, Anne Hathaway and Jim Sturgis. Uh, you might, of course, you know Anne Hathaway from The Princess Diaries, and of course, she's the new uh, Catwoman. Well, Jim Sturgis, you probably less know, and he's from uh, Across the Universe, uh, the you know people, the uh, kind of musical that uh, did remade some like Beatles songs and talked about the '60s and such. Whatever. Anyway. <clears throat> This is a movie about two college grads in, in 1988, July 15th, 90, 1988, who meet, who basically kind of become friends that day. And uh, they and the movie uh, plays each scene, long or short, um, that same day the next year. So each each time that we wind up see, uh, seeing uh, another scene, it will always seem to be the next the next year. And it will always go within that day. Okay? That one day. Uh, it'll never go beyond that. Well, anyway. Uh, and of course, uh, it plays with uh, the uh, one of the uh, one of the people, Jim Sturgis, is the usual typical uh, um, guy who winds up, uh, you know, having sex with a lot of women and stuff like that, you know, promiscuous and whatnot. And the female is the awkward, quiet, shy type, you know, and she winds up loving him. And I was always thinking, you know, I related him more to Anne Hathaway's character in, you know, in, in her being in love with the guy, you know, and wait, wait, no, no, uh, no, no. What, what I mean is that it, 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 it's, I am not gay. <clears throat> Sorry. Anyway, basically, I kind of, uh, I enjoyed these two particular type of characters. I found that their chemistry was actually very good, but the pro uh, the thing is, is though, is that Jim Sturgis did so unbelievably well in this movie that um, he really upstaged Anne Hathaway quite a bit. And uh, I thought, <clears throat> I thought that that kind of detracted away from her, uh, per from her performance when she was really good because she is good in this movie. I mean, she does. She actually nail and nails a good British accent. It's not bad, and I really did enjoy her characters most of the time. And she has some really good lines. But Jim Sturgis is just so good in this movie. In, in acting, that it, she, he just upstaged her. Unintentionally, I think. And also, I found that the emotional scenes when she was in it were, were really... She was really trying way too hard. Um, and I just... I, I didn't feel for this type of relationship. I liked the relationship. I liked the relationship between them. But I didn't have a tendency to have the feelings for it. Not until the end when there's an unexpected event that I was actually just really almost not really getting to like this film, but when it kept on going uh, near the end, I was like, okay, now I actually am really feeling for this film. So there were, there were some really good scenes. There was some really good chemistry between the two, but Jim Sturgis just really overshadows uh, this movie. He does really a very good job. Um, I also found that some, some of the scenes were just really, to my perspective, just were also just didn't work. Um, they were, uh, they just didn't seem to be, they seemed to kind of trap themselves back into that kind of romantic, romantic comedy kind of direction. <clears throat> or at least went into this, uh, direction. Now, um... I don't think that there's much of anything else I could actually say that was really wrong about this uh, this film. I mean, uh, the, uh, also uh, uh, Patricia Clarkson plays in this this film, and she's actually very good. And I loved the uh, the kind of um, relationship because he plays the mother of Jim Sturgis's character, 
And it, that's actually pretty good too, and I really enjoyed that as well. So, I mean, these characters in this movie are are, are really kind of beautiful. But you know what also remind you know what was kind of what was kind of funny in this movie was that uh, you know it's the kind of joke that people who are British are always are always kind, are always generous, you know, and stuff like that. Because whenever they did something that was wrong or whatnot. Like, you know, break something or whatever. The next scene, they'll be like, Oh, I'm so sorry about that. I, I apologize. I'm, I, I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. And then the other person will say, Oh, it's okay. It's all right. I didn't, you know, it's it, it, it's just stuff. It's all right. You know, it's like, and I always, I, I, sometimes I just couldn't help myself laugh at that. Because it just like, it just reminded me of that joke. You know, British people are always nice. Um, so anyway... So I really did. I really did like this film. I, I really felt. I really felt deeply for the ending. Jim Sturgis does an extremely good job. Uh, I thought, yeah, Hathaway pushed a little bit, and as well as also one more thing. Um, the the pacing I thought was really slow. I thought there were some slow points that I was just trying to actually get this because I did look at my I did look at my watch once. Yeah, so there is a there is a pacing problem in this movie, but I really did enjoy these characters, and I think that um, a lot of females will wind up enjoying these characters. It is a very good date movie, and I give it a thumbs up, and it, three and a half stars mainly. It's not the best romantic comedy I've seen. It's in kind of the middle, but I did enjoy it. But it's not going to be for everybody, especially males. So. <clears throat> And, and I am not gay. <clears throat> anyway. And I guess that's it. And I thank you for your time and have a nice day.